It is time, ladies and gentlemen, for the tech war video of your life. Enjoy. It's too hard. Yeah, let's just put it on the preview so I can Whoa. see. Whoa. Just put there. Click next scene. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It's tech war. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm gonna output 480p. Uh, can you just crop it? Because it's not visible fully otherwise. Because the top is missing. Could you just check it real quick? I mean, from the game itself, like that stuff. Well, it doesn't really matter. It's, it's, it's tech war. <laughs> There's going to be Shatner's face. That's enough. Oasis, even without even without starting the game, even without starting the game, we've gained 29 viewers just from the pure hype of Tech War alone. How's this? That's a panorama shot. Yeah, because people move and it messed up. I'm just going to leave it like this. Don't touch it. That's beautiful. As intended. All right. Thanks, Adam. We're gonna start start the cinematics now. I suppose you're wondering why you're here. It's simple. You're the best. At least I think you are. You've already figured out that if this weren't important, you'd still be in cryosleep. So I'm not gonna waste your time. Or more importantly, mine. Last month, Miyoshi Nakahara and her family disappeared while sailing a 40-foot wind cruiser around the world and are believed lost. A week later. Nikolai Petrovsky suddenly left his lab and has not been seen or heard from since. It's occurred to me that the disappearances were no accident. Oh, in case you miss the relevance, Nakahara is a Nobel Prize winning cyberneticist whose forte is the Matrix. And Petrovsky is a noted cyberbiologist who's an expert in tech addiction. The no connection, sound? if there is one, yeah, could be the worst thing to hit this city since the quake of 22. If the tech lords have developed a way to broadcast tech using the matrix, addiction would be useful. I don't intend to let that happen. Yeah, it's, it is. <laughs> it's Find out if there's a connection and eliminate the threat. Do a good job, and I think I can get you released permanently. Screw up, you're back on ice. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. Back on ice. Here you go. All right, so I'm ready to start in yeah. short. I'll do the countdown. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Quick, I love that. And I just saw Marty go. Get down here and help me bring him in. <laughs> you start near midtown and work your way through the area. All right. What does he do? So, you're supposed to go inside the train and you're supposed to enter the sub levels, but I'm kind of going in front of the train because I want to be conducting the train. Uh, the floor over there kills you, uh, you can do like this, you can press forward and it'll just buck out. Um, if you want, you can just go to the floor here, it's not gonna kill you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and... That's the first thing wrong with Tech War, the movement is really terrible. Like, I'm not gonna resort to the mouse. You can use the mouse, but it's gonna move as well as aim. It's a two-function thing. If you hold caps lock, you can look up and down, but it's reversed. And left and right is less than up and down. It's like really horrible to work with. So right now I'm just gonna jump to the station here. Let's get Marty Dog. Damn, it's dark. All right. It's basically... Damn it. There we go. Die. Give me the keycard. 
I'm basically switching between weapons. Weapon number three is like really effective against enemies, and weapon number two is really effective against glass. Go. Oh! Go! And... There we go. Marty Dollar dead. All right. Dallas DeMarco is a small time tech boy operating uptown somewhere in the street. So I don't you may know something about what's going on. See if you can shed any light on the situation. <laughs> He's worth more alive than dead, so don't get too trigger happy. Oh, by the way, keep in touch. I'm going to kill him anyway. All right, basically, I'm. I've just entered the identical same sublay level. The game has been hard coded to stop in between different stations. This, like uh, on the left, is the first mission. It's gonna, it's a completely useless area. It's just a red herring. Uh, second level has only this area because it's shareware. Uh, in the shareware episode thing, you have this level only. So I'm just gonna get the blue key card from here. Uh, ignore all the enemies. Go inside here. Uh, if you run fast enough, you're just gonna click through the door. I'm gonna switch to weapon number two, because this is pretty much useful against the force field that I'm gonna see later on. There we go. There's the force field. Like I was right about thawing you out. You got DeMarco. You managed to keep yourself from getting killed. And you kept the civilians out of the action as well. Don't get cocky. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Oh, my call. Nika analyzed the data on the chip we recovered, and it looks like I was right. The disk held various invoices for electronic and laboratory hardware. They must be trying to link tech to the Matrix. <laughs> Not much to go on. But then we don't have much time, so it'll have to do. I want you to take down Carlisle Rossi's operation. He conducts business from somewhere near People's Park. Try to bring him back for questioning. If the tech lords think he's selling them out, it might buy us some time. All right, same thing again. Uh, I'm basically going to go uh, on the first station to the left, but it's just out of my reach. So I'm just going to wait a tiny bit, and now should be enough, yes. From here, I just go here. I um, know where the key card is. I'm gonna be effective. Shatner doesn't wait. There's a car, but I'm faster than the car anyway, so I'm just gonna go here. Um, here's the monitor. You can try to shoot the monitor, but nothing's gonna happen. Uh, if you shoot this monitor, all the monitors explode. <laughs> I'm just gonna get a pistol clip from there. Just clip in the train, because why not? So yeah, as I told you, this area is like completely non-lethal. It's the area that has the light is, that is non-lethal, the area that's dark. It's because uh, it has a train attribute and it's moving along with the train, so it cannot kill you. It cannot have two attributes at the same time. Um, Tech War... Uh, Tech War uses the build engine. It was later used in games like Duke Nukem 3D and such, so it basically Tech War is the game that got build engine out to the market and yeah i mean it's a popular engine okay rossi won't be pushing his crash around here so, so this is actually a pre done by a long shot something even bigger is going down we need to find that broadcast load but what are you waiting for we don't have time to waste I don't know what this has to do with broadcast notes, I just keep killing people. <laughs> Maybe they're broadcasting something. Conrad Lowell on the streets at Midtown, and the officer's vid phone just went dead. Tech dealing and cop killing is a bad mix. Get down there and show Lowell why. Yeah! Freaking Conrad Lowell life. Ah, uh, yeah, you can just do it. Got a five dollar donation from Onyx64, who says, Tech War! I used to play the demo I got off of a PC format disc as a kid. Shoutouts to The Chat and good luck to all runners and big ups to Oasis. Alright, uh, from here you just basically take this. Uh, if you 
All right. Yeah. That can happen. That can happen in this game. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm going to do these first four levels really quickly. I'm just going to skip the cutscenes. It's not going to take more than four or five minutes. I uh, should have saved. <laughs> Uh, no, it's actually if you go too fast and you go outside of the game world, the game freaks out and crashes the game. So you enter basically a sector that's ID is minus one. So you just crash the game. Anyway, I'm just going to do it without the cinematics right now. It's going to be a lot quicker. It shouldn't take more than five minutes to get back to where I were. Same thing will happen if you stand on the train doors and they close. Yep. And you just crash the game. Yep. Nice. Very well made game. All right, that was the, that was the warm up. Yeah, yeah. Die. So what's really cool is that the tech war unit universe is actually kind of like large. Uh, there's uh, two seasons of a TV series uh, that was out back in 94. There's books uh, written by Shatner, so <laughs> all the characters that appear in this, uh, like Marty Dollar, Carly Rossi and everything, they actually appear in the TV series. Yeah. Sonny Okuri is a big bad guy and... Along with, uh, with uh, Shatner. Basically. Yeah, and Nika was mentioned as well. I mean, it all ties in really nicely. Yeah, who shares the same story. So it's it's a good, it's an accurate movie tie-in for an FPS game. I mean, Dark Forces, what does it tie in? You play as a different guy who's like... Yeah, it ties in, but... It, yeah, it's not canon. Like, this is this is following, like... Kyle gets the Death Star plans that let Skywalker kill it. In the first level. No, oh, I'll just call I'll just call George Lucas and ask. Yeah. <laughs> I said it's no longer canon. Yeah. Star Wars legacy. Yeah. Anyway, this shouldn't take too long. Everybody. These first few levels like are really quick to do. I'm just gonna outrun the car again. You can hear it on the distance. It's actually gonna kill you if it hits you. Let's do the monitor thing again. So your guns, I have time to show. You have this stun gun, which is the first gun, and you have this gun, which is used is, is the glass gun, and you have this gun, which is the death gun that shoots these plasma balls. So this basically one hits even the final boss in the game. It's it's that powerful. It's gonna kill anything, and this one hits any glass, and the stun gun stuns enemies in two hits. So you can pretty much guess which guns are useful in the game and which are not. Oh, just clip in there. No, we got it already. We watched it last time. Because the game crashed on this map. Alright, so we're basically gonna... This is a really kind of boring city level if you do it normally because the first level has a key card that you need in the last level. The last level and the second level um, don't have a key card that you need and the second level doesn't have any cards. So it's basically just a useless city section that isn't utilized at all. I'm just gonna go slow there. There are basically sections in the game where you can just crash the game if you go too fast because you just go outside of the geometry and this... I need to take it slow there a little bit because um, you can, if she gets too close, the bullets are just gonna go through her, so I'd rather take it a little bit slow and make sure that I get her down, otherwise it's gonna be a real pain in the ass trying to kill her. And the glass over there, there's actually two glasses really close to each other, if you accidentally go through both of them you're gonna be stuck on the kind of a generic 90s FPS garage thingy that's dark and pla involving platforming and stuff like that, so don't wanna do it. 
Anyway, the best activity you can pretty much do is just do this along with the music. And with the later levels, you're actually going to get a police guy in here. You can you can kind of like tease with him, and he's going to be like, "Oh, drop your weapon! Drop your weapon! Drop your weapon!" <laughs> Every time you show it, and that's that's a cool thing you can do. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, this game actually has AI code for personalities and such, but it is kind of underutilized. They had really grand plans for the game, like even has like an underwater base and everything. It's so, like do like Deus Ex copied this game really badly. Later on, introduce a lot of concepts. Right. Conrad Lowell was great, but unless you want to join him, you can't keep leaving a trail of bodies behind. You need to watch where you shoot. I can't keep the cops from throwing you back in the freezer if you keep screwing up and getting innocent bystanders killed. Be more careful out there. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm going so fast. Then. It's kind of hard to see. But yeah, it's like... I sent one of my operatives down to mm. check out the industrial area, and I can't make contact with her. Her disappearance as Sonny Okori written all over it. Take him down. Hard if you have to, but take him down. Didn't he just tell you to go easy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, this is an important. It's it's Shatner. Sure. Another so, boring train ride ahead, anyway. Yeah. So while while we're doing a boring train ride, we've got two donations. One dollar from Squacky, who says, "So I just told my friend how it would be amazing if they put Shatner's face over Oasis during Tech War. <laughs> then I opened up the stream to this. Keep it up." <laughs> <laughs> And we have $25 from Bitter146, who says, European Shatner Assembly 2014 <laughs> hype! Yeah! <laughs> Thanks very much, guys. Keep them coming. All right, so on the bottom right, you can see these weird symbols. They represent the, I guess it's the personality of the tech lords you killed or some shit like that. I don't know. Uh, anyway, this level is kind of tricky. This is probably one of the hardest levels to do because you need to do really precise jumps and really precise turns and everything due to the awful controls and the NPCs getting in your way because they're fleeing and stuff. They have the personality bit set that they want to flee. That's a jumping on a top of an enemy. Kill this guy, destroy that window, rush through, it skip a, skips a key card, get through here, and uh, kill. Ashes is all that's left of Sonny Okari's operation and of him as well. I understand it couldn't be avoided. At least he was the only casualty. Still, let's wrap this mess up quickly. I've got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> sure thing. I uh, got Miles Connor. This is actually a pretty cool level. One of yeah. my operatives reported seeing Miles Connor down in the free zone. What a big time operator like him is doing down there could be worth the trouble of finding out. Remember to keep your cool out there, or I'll have you put back on ice. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. They're reusing some lines there. Yeah. Anyway, there's like homeless guys on the like train stations trying to get them uh, like will work for tech and stuff. Like it's like you can see the train stations already decaying and stuff. Tech is really hitting the streets really badly and spray paintings all over. Like it's things are going bad. I need to go here. Here are I'm gonna take the, these there slowly because. You can really easily crash the game if you just run there, because you just go inside the stairs and crash. Again, same thing with the monitors. That one doesn't just get destroyed. That one works for some reason. Um, here's a map that happens to be transparent for some reason. And there's a texture buck over there, unaligned textures, and let's see what else. I don't know, there's a train. Um, there's a underlying textures, like you can compare the texture on the floor, like it doesn't even align with the lights and stuff, like it's just, but on the roof they ma actually managed to align, it's like they, it's simply just, they need to place numpad 6 to fix it a few times and it isn't that hard. Open this one, yeah, 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 you die. With Connor down, we're one step closer to figuring out what's going on. Not only did you take him down, but you managed to do it without too much bloodshed. Well, what are you waiting for? A medal? Yeah. <laughs> Shut an award. I just received a report that a security guard at the Megacorp dockyard just spotted Janus and a bunch of his goons going into a warehouse in the area. If he gets to his yacht, we'll never call him. 
get a move on. That's a reference Maybe to the... You catch him before he goes underground again. In the TV series, that's also a reference. He actually, he actually is an easy ox. Like, that guy is really doing badly, like, on Tekken. He's, like, laying on the floor right now. Don't know. I'm not gonna go into the angle part, because you can just glitch inside the train and crash the game again. So, I'm just gonna be careful here. This is gonna, it's gonna be the second stop. The first stop is gonna be generic warehouse. The third stop is gonna be generic warehouse. They're both gonna have useful key cards, but the third area is, like, the only meaningful one. And the second one has the key cards I need, and it's also going to have the tech lord I need to kill. So I'm just going to go here. Uh, there's also a truck that moves and does nice 90 degree angle turns. Uh, this is the ladder physics in the game. I'm climbing as fast as I can. There we go. Got the blue card. Get strafe a little bit down here. I'm gonna get the red key. It's just faster trying to avoid him because the bullets are just going to go through him. Uh, here, get this open through here, there, kill. With Janus out of the picture, I can justify my decision to keep you far out. And as icing on the cake, nobody was hurt. But don't plan on any vacations yet. We still haven't solved this case. All right, so now it's gonna... This is gonna hurt if you're a virgin to the Matrix, but bear with me. It's gonna be over soon. So this is the latter part of the game. You're basically stuck in this scary place where you need to push buttons that need audio cues because the textures sometimes don't trigger and there's darkness and stuff. And this one is on the floor and like even the didn't bother to test it just glitches over there. And just gonna go through here, push that one. And it's gonna be here. Come on. It's the hit detection is really ho horrible in that. So I'm just gonna put these things on the pedestal, then Alt Q, and then just reselect the matrix. And start going forward. Uh, here, I need to go through here first, up here. There's flying, I don't know what to say. You judge it for yourself. It's brown and shaped like a turd, so... It's, I guess it's virtual shit. It's, it's uh, you're gonna, you're gonna see it soon. It's, it's the power glove in this section. Okay, I got access, I'm gonna have funky sounds, like it's this kind. I can shoot pallets out of it and kill virtual reality things that try to kill me. Anyway, I got it to the pedestal, I'm just gonna do the third level now, or basically. Matrix is a huge interconnected map. I can show it uh, in the editor like really briefly once I'm done with this, what it looks like. I actually compiled the build engine uh, from the source codes that, uh, like the editor that the developers released. So I, can, I could analyze the maps a little bit better. Uh, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who made these textures? <laughs> Someone says it looked like they tried to copy Lawnmower Man. <laughs> Alright, I got three, so I just need to go here next, and it's this one. This one is kind of timed, so it doesn't matter that it took me a tiny bit. Come on. Alright, that might actually matter. Nope. Light. Fuck! I'm stuck here. Ah, tech war. So yeah, there's things like that. That's actually never happened to me before. But let's let's, let's just continue on. Let's break the ice. All right, tech war. Do your worst. All right. What you're supposed to do is that this carrier actually. This is actually a glitch. These walls block you, but, and this is actually a carrier that takes you through them. Um, kind of abuses how this works. Uh, if you catch the carrier, that's really cool because you just save a complete cycle from that. You need to go up here. From here, you're just going to press another switch and that's going to open the exit to the pedestal itself. Uh, the trigger to that is that weird wire over there. It Nowhere does it tell you that it, you got, have to go over it to trigger it. But it just works, trust me. 
And if you go inside there, it's actually going to trap you inside. And I don't know how to actually get outside from there, aside from just randomly going inside. But I'm so good that I just never get myself stuck in there permanently. Now, uh, this one is a hard one for a lot of for the first time, is because you can actually get trapped in the hallways. And there's like something that kills you. So I'm just going to go here. You can see, well, it's not going to show up. Uh, there are like hallways that try to trap you. And you need to go on the white triangle over there to actually trigger this to go down again. It doesn't tell you anywhere, it just works. Here's the pedestal, I'm just gonna place it here. And matrix again, now I got the last two areas. Don't worry, uh, I know this matrix is really hurting your head, but you're gonna get out of this dosage soon. You go here, this one is probably the worst part in the matrix because there is just a huge chasm that you have to go down and up, waste so much time. Like, you could cut easily a minute or two out of the map time. Anyway, this is, I'm just gonna use this as a reference, but this is basically the whole matrix area, like the different areas that are connected. Uh, I'm just gonna zoom in now because I'm gonna use the map as a reference. It doesn't really matter because... Oh, by the way, if you haven't noticed, there on the bottom left corner you have a rear view mirror in the game. That's also something that Dark Forces doesn't have. And it also shows why... Also shows why a build engine is superior to Dark Forces. You have your time over there, like it even tells you your time in there. As long as you don't press quits, it's gonna count. So it even has a built-in timer for speedrunning. Has Dark Forces... No, 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 no. Let's stick it to the timer. Does Dark Forces have it? No. All right, so here I'm going to use the gun for the first time. I'm going to start shooting these space thingies that float around. Um, there's this green thing, and then there's this invisible thing. And these fears that move around, they're going to heal you. That's not the one that's going to heal me. It's Anyway... It's, I think it's the best one, yeah. That's energy pellets. And the red ones that float around are the ammunition, but I'm not really going to need it, so I'm just going to spend it here to show how stupid this weapon is. All right, got it. You can also crash the game if you go there too fast, so I wouldn't recommend doing it. All right. Bow, bow, bow. Oh, and it also records your score. Score in the top right. On the bottom right, you have the like symbols. I'm gonna. I'm on my second last one. The other ones are basically blackened out. Uh, this is the only part where I need my mini map. You need to be really precise on that. You actually get here. If you don't stay here, you're actually just gonna hit the roof. And on the roof, it's just gonna be completely dark. You have to hit a certain like hate limits in there to actually get inside, otherwise you're just gonna get lost. Funky soundtrack here. Anyway, that's that one. I'm just gonna go to the Matrix once more. It's gonna be the final area, and it's gonna be here. Here. I'm just gonna get the switch from here. That thing got in my way. I don't have any ammunition, unfortunately, because it resets every time I reset. Uh, let's see. No, it was this one. There we go. So, yeah, this is basically a 3D maze, but I've done this so many times that I don't really care. Uh, down here, then you go up here. It's going to say that there's wires detected. This is actually a pretty hard area in the game. You can get really wrecked in there. From here, you just go up. Here's the final pedestal. Then you're just gonna. So far, you've been lucky and you've taken down all the tech lords, but nothing counts if the tech matrix broadcast node goes online. Nika has analyzed the information you brought back and has narrowed the search area down to the free zone. They put up a security block in cyberspace that almost killed her. If Nika had this much trouble getting through, they must have some of the finest cyber jocks on the net working for them. If that broadcast unit goes online, hundreds of thousands of lives will be affected, and all that we've worked for will be lost. Find it. <coughs> yeah. I shall. 
Anyway, in here, like I discovered that there's actually a glitch you can do because the ladders are really slow, so I just decided to do it this way, get up here and just clip down here and just go here and just... There's this guy, shoot him once and that's it. Time. <laughs> of tech, at least temporarily, and put a lot of tech lords out of action. But for everyone we put away, there are at least 10 ready to take their place. Putting the tech matrix broadcast mode out of action before it came online saved this city from the greatest organized threat since that nuclear bomb scare by the anti-technology terrorists back in the 90s. We don't have time to relax, though. There are still lots of other tech lords throughout the world that need to be put away, and we're the ones to do it. By the way, I've convinced the parole officials to let you stay out of the freezer as long as you continue to work for me. Maybe you can clear your name after all. How about it? Do we have a deal? So it's almost like a prequel to, like, this is just going to stutter and not, it's no point watching it. And, yeah, the pinnacle of entertainment software. This is, like, the last screen after that. It's going to go back to Windows. I'm just going to really quickly show... Um, <laughs> Let's see, uh, wait, tech war, uh, build, I'm just, uh, let's see, here's the matrix. This is basically the whole matrix map that you can go through. And, uh, like, this is the red maze, uh, uh, 3D maze is this area over here, and... This is like the first area I entered. It's, it's pretty simple. But like, seriously, I don't, I don't understand why they cannot fix. Let's see, here's, here's this texture. I'm just gonna go there, numpad, or okay, numpad. Let's see, it's eight. <laughs> there, I take this, I put it here, enter, enter. <laughs> I'm gonna shade it a little bit brighter. Let's see, it's where do I have plus on this? All right, there we go. There, there, and there. Let's make a gradient. Oh, sorry. There, and there. I fixed the train. I mean, how hard is it? Uh, I was just thinking, I think chat, I think chat was very appreciative of you fixing uh, a tech war, <laughs> yeah. and and now that it's been fixed forever, you should get it and play it and speed run it. Yeah, you should you should buy William Shatner's tech war from <laughs> eBay. You're not gonna get it from anywhere. <laughs> it's hard to find. It's a collector's item. All right. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Don't do tech. All right, so I'm ready to start in shot. I'll do the countdown. Three, two, one, go. Quick, I'm up town, and I just saw Marty Gold. Get down here and help me bring him in. You start near Midtown and work your way through the area. All right. What does he do? So, you're supposed to go inside the train and you're supposed to enter the sub-levels, but I'm kind of going in front of the train because I want to be conducting the train. Uh, the floor over there kills you. Uh, you can do like this, you can press forward and it'll just buck out. Um, if you want, you can just go to the floor here, it's not going to kill you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and. That's the first thing wrong with Tech War. The movement is really terrible. Like, I'm not gonna resort to the mouse. You can use the mouse, but it's gonna move as well as aim. It's a two function thing. If you hold caps lock, you can look up and down, but it's reversed. And left and right is less than up and down. It's like really horrible to work with. 
So right now I'm just going to jump to the station here. Let's get more detail. Damn, it's dark. Alright. It's basically... Damn it. There we go. Die. Give me the keycard. I'm basically switching between weapons. Weapon number three is like really effective against enemies, and weapon number two is really effective against glass. Go. Oh! Go! And... There we go. Marty Dollar dead. All right. <laughs> Dallas DeMarco is a small time tech boy operating uptown somewhere. I'm in not on stream, so I don't You may know something about what's going on. See if you can shed any light on the situation. <laughs> He's worth more alive than dead, so don't get too trigger happy. Oh, by the way, keep in touch. I'm gonna kill him anyway. <laughs> Start the cinematic snare. I suppose you're wondering why you're here. It's simple. You're the best. At least I think you are. You've already figured out that if this weren't important, you'd still be in cryosleep. So I'm not going to waste your time. Or more importantly, mine. Last month, Miyoshi Nakahara and her family disappeared while sailing a 40-foot wind cruiser around the world and are believed lost. A week later, Nikolai Petrovsky suddenly left his lab and has not been seen or heard from since. It's occurred to me that the disappearances were no accident. Oh, in case you miss the relevance, Nakahara is a Nobel Prize winning cyberneticist whose forte is the Matrix. And Petrovsky is a noted cyberbiologist who's an expert in tech addiction. The no connection, sound? if there is one, yeah, could be the worst thing to hit this city since the quake of 22. If the tech lords have developed a way to broadcast tech using the matrix, fiction would be universal. I don't intend to let that Yeah, it's, it is. <laughs> it's Find out if there's a connection and eliminate the threat. Do a good job, and I think I can get you released permanently. Screw up, you're back on ice. <laughs> oh, no. It is time, ladies and gentlemen, for the Tech War video of your life. Enjoy. Too hard. Yeah, I just put it on the preview so I can Next, see. Next, just put there. Click next team. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It's tech war. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm gonna output 480p. Uh, can you just crop it? Because it's not visible fully otherwise. Because it's the top is missing. Could you just check it real quick? I mean, from the game itself, like that stuff. Well, it doesn't really matter. It's 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 tech war. <laughs> There's going to be Shatner's face. That's enough. Anyway, Oasis. Even without even without starting the game. 
<laughs> it, even without starting the game, we've gained 29 viewers just from the pure hype of Tech War alone. How's this dust? It's a panorama shot yeah, because people move. And it messed up. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it like this. Don't touch it. That's beautiful. Thanks, As intended. Thanks, Alright. Thanks, Adam. We're gonna start.